I'd like to tell you that it was Paddy Power who first used fractions to show betting odds, but, as you probably know, it was actually down to this guy, Steve, who first used them one Tuesday evening on his way home from the pub. If you've already gone through our other Popcorn Skills video on fractions, then you'll know that when it comes to betting odds, fractions look a little bit different. This is because a normal fraction has one number on top of the other, to show how many parts make up the whole number, and how many parts of that whole number you have. Betting odds, on the other hand, are usually written like this, with both numbers side by side. The first number shows you the amount that you'll win for every value of the second number that you bet. So, odds of 8 to 1 mean that you'll win £8 for every £1 that you bet. And of course you'll get your original stake back too. So how do you use betting odds to work out the winnings? The easiest way to work this out is like this. First up, convert the fraction to a decimal by dividing the first number by the second. If the odds are 9 to 2, then the decimal is 4.5, because 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Next, you multiply that decimal by the stake that they've bet. If they've bet £1, then 4.5 times 1 is £4.50. So they win £4.50, and they get their original £1 stake back too. Here's another example. The odds are 10 to 1, and the stake is £10. 10 divided by 1 is 10. 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. So winnings here are £100 plus the original £10 stake. It's really important that you always divide your first number by the second in the fraction and not the other way round. So what about if the odds were 1 to 4? What then? Well, this means that you can win £1 for every £4 that you bet and you can work out the winnings in exactly the same way as before. 1 divided by 4 is 0.25. Times 0.25 by the stake, that's £8 in this case, and you can see that the winnings are £2 plus your original £8 stake. See if you can work out the winnings from these odds. Did you get it? Well done if you did! Remember to always divide the first number by the second to get a decimal, before multiplying that by the stake to work out your winnings. Remember to check out our other Popcorn Skills videos to find out more on fractions, decimals and percentages. And if you have any other questions, simply ask them using the Ask button at the top of the screen in Fuse. watching Popcorn Skills, brought to you by EQL Solutions. Find more at EQLExtra.com. EQL Extra.